and the plot is going to be that type. Johnson, man, you are superb. What a voice. What we question? Thank you, my friend. What we question? I don't know where Thank to begin. Thank you be so much. I don't know where to begin, but I know there's a song that we do called Begin to Begin. That's a great one. Tell us about that one. The Begin. Everybody says it's, it's Begin the Begin. That's it's a, so strange. And it's a wonderful one. Yeah, uh, and that's yeah. one of my favorites. Thank you. Anything you'd like to tell our audience about that great song? Yes, begin the beginning. We recorded that in 1959 Jim. Uh, on the Flamingo Serenade album. Right. And it was such a beautiful song. We always had requests to do it, Great. and we were never really doing it in our shows. Yes, so I always want to record it again. Love is never and uh, this about. time, uh, everybody, it's one of the highest songs on the album. Everywhere, because it's being played in Africa, Australia, yeah. all over awesome. the world. And that's one of the favorite songs that I get. A lot of requests for. Well, that's, and that's, it was also written by Cole Porter. Of course, Cole Porter wrote it in, in Paris. And uh, I, I love that song. I think it has a, a big uh, musical production, and I love the message to it. How did you get the name Buzzy? I know Bob O'Brien wanted to ask you that question, but he may ask you one more yeah, after that or two more. <laughs> okay, Buzzy came from me, did was always buzzing around. I was busy as a bee, and my mother and my sisters were calling me Buzzy, buzzing around. Would you say, uh, out of Nat King Cole and Smokey Robinson and uh, some of the other greats that you've worked with, any, any one of these uh, uh, people, uh, could, could you give us maybe a little story about one of them or just an incident that you had with one of these great singers? Uh, Smokey Robinson was great. Uh, oh, you said someone else besides Smokey? Yeah, Smokey uh, or... How about Sam Cooke? Sam Cooke, that would be one of them. Got a good Sam Cooke story? Oh, man, Sam Cooke was great. Uh, he always said, you know, he was a church singer. You know, he sang in church all the time. And he wanted to... He loved church music, but he wanted to get into the pop, you know, just music. And uh, he had to bring church with him. And he would always laugh about how he brought church with him into regular music and how he loved it. He was a, such a soulful artist, you know, and uh, another great story was from uh, Sammy Davis Jr. I knew him. I loved him very much. Were you good friends with him? Or? Said, you know, oh, yes. Very dear friends. As a matter of fact, at the Apollo one time, that show was over. Sammy Davis Jr. had a special that he did and uh, Mr. Rose, which was his musical director, was sick. He got sick that same night. They had to rush him to the hospital. He asked me to take over and could I direct the orchestra for him. I said, well, of course I'll try it. And it was a kick because after about halfway through his show, he said, anybody give a hand to my friend back here, Buzzy from the Flamingos. I got a big hand. That was an honor to direct his music. A little bit into the show, we're going to have a... A guest for you, his name is Joe Gianni from Gianni Records, is going to play a little song called Little Star. We'd like to hear what you think of that particular song that uh, Joe's going to play for us hey. in a couple of moments from now. You're okay. on WPAT. In the meantime, I have a song for you on WPAT. Uh.